welcome back love nation this is nina like share and subscribe thank you to everybody that has been coming to my channel like this video share this video and hit that notification bell thank you so much to say cheese as well as the spade networks i definitely pulled a lot of receipts from you guys i want to give credit to now let's just get into this big scar and gucci main situation Apparently, there has been a miscommunication issue as Big Scar's sister and brother came forward with video saying that Gucci Man didn't want to pay for the funeral. Now, receipts came out later, but let's get into this social media episode first. I thought Gucci was rich too. Hi, food all up. Yeah, uh, dude, Bama need being rich. It's not about more money. It's not none of it. It's about your respect, bro. You disrespected Pop them by lying like you gonna pay for the funeral and knowing you wasn't cause you went ghost the next day. Like, what, what was that? What you telling free lies for? Like, what? Nobody asked you for that, bro. Oh, God, everybody gotta know what you, what, what you want. Friend were paid for. That 10 cake went to a flowers. Flowers high as fuck. We still got a casket. He getting cremated. He getting put up in a museum. Bitches, the bitches would not be able to walk on my brother's grave. He ain't getting put in no ground. He ain't getting buried with no chains. He not getting no chains back. Period. At the end of the day. Fuck them receipts that Annabelle uploaded. Fuck Annabelle. And them receipts. Like I said, we only received 10,000. What the other 10 is, I don't know, but, yeah, yeah, I'm at work with my feet up, making boxes. All right, so you guys just heard from Big Scar's sister and brother, and also she went to her social media again and said that, um, that Gucci asked for the 1017 chain back, which, you know, Big Scar, you know, did have, and um, she told him he couldn't um, have it back, and um, Gucci Mane informed her that he was not going to pay for Big Scar's funeral because his wife's birthday was coming up, and this led to a further social media mess, and it just got messier and messier. And like I said, I'm just pulling out some of these receipts to show you guys what happened again. Shout out to Spade TV for that receipt. As you guys can see, Big Scar's sister is wearing that 1017 chain. She also put on her social media that if, if Gucci Mane wanted to get it back, he would have to get it back in B-L-O-O-D. She said her brother earned it. F this rap game. This is what she said while wearing the chain. Now, at this point, Keisha Kaor, who was Gucci Mane's wife, came forward and just started dropping receipt after receipt after receipt because of this uproar that was going on. She basically screenshotted these receipts and basically saying that, yes, $20,000 was actually put up for the funeral of Big Scar, who was only 22 at the time, rest his soul, 22, you're still a baby, in my opinion. So much life to live, and this whole situation is definitely completely sad, but Keisha Kaor definitely came forward very quickly with these receipts. Then she further put on her social media that they also sent flowers and she said that nobody even came out from the family to even say thank you for the flowers. She also had pictures of the flowers as further proof. She said that these flowers were five feet tall. It had the bearings of 1017. And actually, that's a very, very nice looking reef, honestly. And she also posted this receipt. You know, and the situation was a whole hot mess. Now, people are speculating that Big Scar's family actually wanted to pocket the 20 grand. 
I'm not going to speculate on that as I personally do not know their intentions on this matter. I don't know if there was actually a miscommunication with when the payment went through versus whatever information they had at the time. They also said they were blocked. And here is a third screenshot from Keisha K. Orr when she again posted the receipt and said the payment went directly to the funeral home and she said, leave my husband alone. Then Big Scar's sister came back and said, he is not getting them chains back before anyone gets to speaking on some stuff they don't know nothing about. Yes, he asked for those chains back, and no, he not getting them. My brother earned those chains, and they mean everything to us. And for him to do him like that is low down AF. He said he couldn't pay for the funeral because his wife's birthday was coming up. In words, you a millionaire, Gucci is a B-I-T-C-H. Gotta get it back in B-L-O-O-D. This is what the sister wrote. And again, I don't know if, you know, the chains will ever see the light of day. Now, his sister did go back on social media and she put out a second short video response on her social media while she was at work and this is how she responded and again this whole situation I feel is a mess but I'm going to just give you guys these receipts tonight so you guys can get a whole picture of what happened today this thing I did about Bisha Rivers and Flowers boo this thing here with number one Bisha Rivers and Flowers boo 10 k my brother was way more work, baby. My brother worked more than 10K. Yeah, Goose's son 10K. Yeah, Goose's son 10,000. And it was a, uh, somebody else on another 10. So it was 20,000 and all. And yeah, we didn't get the flowers. I don't give a for nobody to say. He need to get in the field. About my brother. Like, the money don't even matter. Asking for the trains, baby. But anyway, the friend will get paid for regardless. That little ass one, that's why we say he ain't here for weeks. I'm gonna talk about that BMW posting receipts, none of that shit. Yeah, he's sunk 10,000. Alright, so his sister had to come back and make a video because Keisha K. Orr did post what she posts with those receipts sending that money there was a total of twenty thousand dollars sent directly to the funeral home you know like i said some people are saying that they are mad because they did not get it directly however i am just reporting what i see and now big scar's father is going to make a statement to try to stop all this chaos on social media i'm about to play that right now Atlantic. They sent they 10 bands. Gucci, he sent his 10 bands. I covered the rest. I covered the rest. I appreciate that. Big time. Big time. Certain things were said that 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 shouldn't have been said. It was wrong. Man to man, I wish somebody would have just died my, you know, and talked to your guy 100. You know what I'm saying? All this out of control. Gucci and them, Gucci and them, that ain't the best thing ever happened to my son. You know, nobody deserved this here. Nobody ain't asked me for, for nothing, you know. I ain't heard or uh, now. I don't know where all the story come from, but I know who did it. But y'all, hey, y'all forgive him. He a kid, man. He, he just loved my son to death. I understand the boy hard broke. They they hard broke, y'all. He loved dude, man. He'll do anything to let his name live on. But, hey, certain things were said that shouldn't have been said. Can't let you throw my family under the bus. My family mean more to me than any viewers in the world. How I went is how I went. I wish I could. I'm trying to fix it now. I'm trying to fix it now, y'all. Shouts out to them folks, man. 
Alright, so I just wanted to post all those receipts for y'all, and I am very grateful that Big Scar's father came out and made the statement that he made, because I feel like this whole situation was going completely to the to the left. I want to say also rest in peace to Big Scar, 22 years old, is very young to pass away. I definitely want to know what you guys think about this situation, and what do you guys think actually happened? Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, be safe and enjoy your day. Bye, guys.